This man could be holding the fate of an entire species in his hands. Like giant pandas, tansy beetles seem hell-bent on their own extinction. They can't fly, live exclusively on one plant, and the only other thing they're known to eat is their own eggs. This species was going to be classified according to international criteria as critically endangered. The next category up is extinct in the wild. So that sort of puts it into context. Apart from a small, recently discovered population in the Fens, the only place these beetles still exist is on the banks of the Ouse in York. But the Ouse is now prone to summer flooding. One big event could wipe out the entire population of a beetle, once so plentiful its wing cases were used as sequins for dresses. Action to avert disaster began last year. I collected just a very few and I put them in netted plants, escape proof nets, um, and then I just wait for everything to happen, mating, egg laying and Bob's your uncle. They also released eggs by stapling the leaf on which they were laid to the leaf on which they'll hatch. They're being put along the canal here on an area of grass that won't be cut until the end of the summer, which is when the beetles have gone under the ground because they overwinter when it's cold and then they come out again in the spring ready to mate and then hopefully we'll have plenty more of them next year. They'll provide an ARC population, a safe gene pool. All that's needed is for these beetles to become love bugs. Signs are good. Oh, there you go. Danny Carpenter, Selby.